सो दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो फाइव ऑफ दी टेक्सी पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन सीज हीट इंजन रिसीव हीट एट थाउजेंड कैलविन एंड रिजेक्ट हीट टू द एनवायरमेंट एट थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन सो वी हैव अट इंजन विच टेक्स हीट एट थाउजेंड कैलविन सो लेट से इट टेक्स हीट क्यू एच वन एंड दिस इज अट इंजन एंड इट रिजेक्ट हीट टू थ्री हंड्रेड कैलविन This is 300 Kelvin. So the efficiency of the heat engine is half the efficiency of a Carnot engine working between the above mentioned temperature limits. The work output from the heat engine is completely used to drive a refrigerator. So this engine has some work output, and it is used to drive a refrigerator that is steadily removes heat from a cold is cold space at 260 kilowatt at a rate of 5.2 kilowatt. and rejects the heat to the same environment at 300 kelvin the cop of the refrigerator is half of the cop of the carnot refrigerator operating between the same temperature limits as that of the refrigerator the rate of heat supplied to the heat engine is so we have to find this q h1 and this w is used to drive a refrigerator so first we solve heat engine so it is given that so it is given that the efficiency of this engine is half the carnot efficiency working between these temperature limits so we know that for a heat engine for a carnot heat engine the efficiency is the function of temperature only efficiency for a carnot heat engine is given by 1 minus of tl upon th now in this case this is tl and this is th so this is tl and this is th so i can find 1 minus of 300 by 1000 this is eta carnot as 0.7 since efficiency of this heat engine is half the carnot efficiency so this is 0.35 now for a heat engine efficiency is given by work output upon heat input so in this case work output is w and heat input is ql1 which is qh1 so this is w upon qh1 and this is 0.35 so we get the relation between w and qh1 as w is equal to 0.35 of qh1 now we have a refrigerator which takes work input which is the work output of this heat engine and it works between temperature limit of 260 kelvin and 300 kelvin means this is the lower temperature and this is the higher temperature it extract heat from lower temperature at the rate of 5.2 kilowatt so this is ql2 is 5.2 kilowatt and it reject heat to a temperature at 300 kelvin now it is given that the cop of this refrigerator so this is refrigerator is half the cop of the carnot refrigerator working between these two limits that is 300 and 260 kelvin now again we know that cop for a carnot refrigerator depends on temperature only and it is given by tl upon th minus of tl so in this case we have tl as 260 kelvin and th as 300 kelvin so putting this values i get 260 upon 300 minus of 260 this is cop carnot so it comes out to be cop carnot as 6.5 now the actual cop of this refrigerator is half the cop of the carnot which i can write as cop of refrigerator as 6.5 by 2 which is 3.25 now cop of refrigerator is defined as heat extracted that is ql2 in this case upon work input now we already have the value of this cop as 3.25 Now QL2 is given as 5.2 kilowatt, so I can write this value as 
3.25 this is 5.2 and w we have already find as 0.35 of qh1 it is 0.35 of qh1 solving this we get the value of qh1 as 4.57 kilowatt so please check the units it is asking in kilowatt so the answer is 4.57 kilowatt there may be a chance that the question may be asked in watts so you have to multiply it by 1000 or it can be asked in megawatts so you have to divide this unit by 1000